Hello guys, thought we'd bring you to Ikea in Wembley. This is the North West London Ikea. Thought you might want to come and have a look. Uh, just come and have a look at Mrs. She's gone inside already. So, this is it here. This is the entrance. She's waiting for me. Ready? We'll go upstairs, have a look, see what they've got. They've we'll been looking for, as I said in uh, my previous video, we've just got the flooring done in, at our house, at the bedrooms, and we're looking for some furniture. We'll be looking for some uh, over bed furniture. And we've got fitted wardrobes as it is, but uh, are you going to get something? I'm just going to have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Get this was probably in the downstairs. They've got trolleys downstairs anyway. Yeah. Actually, should we get some uh, food? Mm, I don't know. This is it guys, this is IKEA Northwest London. Billy's Cafe. Oh. Got a non-working coffee machine now, so that's no good. That's good, isn't it? This, uh, oh, it's a projector up there projecting onto the kitchen cupboards. Huh? Wow. Don't remember seeing this before. I look at the blinds, Mark. Oh, that's the main thing we've come here for blinds. They've got, uh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Look at this, guys. Nice way of viewing your bedroom furniture. See if it matches with the outside. Well, typical doom and gloom, raining. That's apt for the weather outside now because it is raining. Typical UK weather.
as you guys, if you've watched my vlog on why I'm doing this, you would have seen that I mentioned, this is new to me, the vlogging side of things, and certain things that I could have done before, I didn't do. Such as going to the one of the biggest Ikeas in the world, in Manila, we missed it. But hey, that will be another video in the near future when we go to Manila. And we'll show you how large the largest IKEA is hopefully early oh, or mid next year July August well early or well, late July hopefully we'll be out in the Philippines again and we'll definitely be showing you uh, the IKEA showroom in Manila and much much more ending is the kiddies section so we're finishing up here if it's still the same as it used to be as I said they've made quite a few changes it looks to be the end so they've got quite a lot of kiddie things if you need anything for your kiddies your babies cots Yeah, this is the end as I can see the restaurant there. Swedish restaurant and cafe. So this is the upstairs. Hold it, Mark. I'm just going to show the restaurant stroke cafe. So this is the restaurant stroke cafe. So it's quite nice. A lot of Swedish stuff here, obviously. Meatballs being the top one. Oh, this has changed. It wasn't like this before. So, we used to go in from that way, but now they've put trolleys there. And you go in from this way and spiral yourself around. 
and then you pick up your stuff down the end there. This is the seating area. Uh, it's quite large, got quite a lot of space that you can obviously sit and eat and if it's a nice day watch the cars go in and out the car park. Uh, that was the entrance there and this is the outdoor car park, the park down the other end in the indoor car park because it was raining so we went to the indoor so it's quite large as you can see you walk around here and uh, not very busy today usually it's what Saturday and Sunday wow that is the busy time Saturday and Sunday that's the trolley that you win your food on Saturday and Sunday oh Oh my days, it is busy. But uh, there's quite a lot of space today if you want to grab something to eat and grab a chair. There's the lavatories and everything there just outside. So, right, that's the t upper level. Got Oh, there you are. I thought you went downstairs. Yeah, just showed everyone the restaurant it wasn't too busy in there they've changed the layout though yeah the way you walk in is different you're going from the from a different side now so now this yeah, is yeah. this is the ground level now uh, are you gonna get anything I don't know. Well, we could pick it up in our hand it's not gonna really be large no, no, we're going to get it online. No, that stuff has to be online. Because if we're going to get, like, three sets of wardrobes and all, trying to put that in a car, it will be a nightmare. We need a van. So this is the ground level. And as you can see, this is where you get all your accessories. All your pots and pans and cutlery and uh, stuff like that napkins so you've, got, you've got all your cooking utensils plates lots of plates all different we bought our plates from here quite nice we bought a load of plates yeah. Yeah, see what the queue's like. Don't want really to queue up too long for just one, one item, innit? Oh, God. No, I need to get those uh, Swedish meatballs. Oh, is it? While I'm here. Oh. Asking those yeah. Turning around quickly. Pillows. Bathroom stuff. Need a sink, yeah. Oh, that's another project, isn't it? Oh, jeez. What if they still got the one we were looking for? Yeah, do you know it? You know, it was a smallish one, wasn't it? We were looking for a new sink, and I don't know if it was one of these. It was a smallish type. Oh, they got slippers. Yeah. I'm going to get some. Sinks are a funny thing. If you get the wrong sink, when the water comes out, it splashes all over the place. So even getting a sink is a bit of an art. Making sure that you get one, that when the water comes out the tap, it doesn't splash all over the place. These are quite nice. Oh, the same when you, size though. When you've got guests. Oh, our ones that we got here before were better. Which one? Because we got small and we got large. Remember the grey ones? Those ones are still okay. Let me get new ones. Yeah. Bigger ones. Yeah, get some then if you want. Oh, oh, this is the one, isn't it? Here it is. 
this is the sink that we were looking at. Is that the one? I think so, yeah. Then you know mm -hmm. why? Because here, if you see here, guys, the water gets trapped here. The water. So when it's, you know, splashes or anything like that, it won't run down here. That's why we want this one. And obviously, it's got the backing here that stops any water that goes down there. So this is a project that that's a larger version as you can see if you look at what I showed you earlier you can see why we like this one all the water stays here and here that's why we like this one but if you get another one have a look at this one for example when it splashes if there's any water that's washing your face it's splash it's gonna go all here drip down here go around the edges it's got a bit of a lip at the back but it's still collects up here by the one I just showed you as you can see is much much better the water literally stays in the bowl any splashes oh this is another version with a nicer I must admit it's got a nicer drawer nice kind of a pattern on the cupboards there but it's the same top with the water that gets caught here and doesn't run hopefully down the edges here and obviously this is great it collects all the water at the top there so you don't get anything just put some sealant around here yeah get it anyway because we're going to use it it's good because it matches the flooring and we've got brown sort of uh, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, get two. Yeah, because it's quite large that one, isn't it? Yeah, 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 get two. The strains have only got one colour for the toilet. Unbelievable, look. They've got so many different colours of bathroom mats, yeah? Pink, brown, green. But yeah, they've got all different colour bath mats and then the only one for the toilet is this grey one. Nothing else. One colour to go around the toilets. So 99% of what you want doesn't match as a set. See, look. 99% does not match as a set unless you get grey. So at least it won't move around, innit? Unbelievable. One colour. Lucky for us, we like grey. But yeah, that was the first anomaly here that I saw. The yeah, this is yeah, uh, my daughter Stephanie. She wants a dressing table with these type of lights. Let's see what the name is. Musk. Elon Musk. <laughs> Sounds like that to me. These are the um, rugs for the bedroom. We're looking for rugs to go with our flooring that we've just had done. Because, you know, it's, it's warm, don't get me wrong. When I get out of bed and st stand on the floor, uh, the floor is a warm flooring. But it's nice to have some rugs. Yeah, how big is this? Oh yeah, it's got rubber on the back. Yeah, oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, this is it, so it won't move around as well. Yeah, get a few of those, a couple of those. Oh my days. You know what? I didn't think we'd be buying anything and we end up buying stuff. Now we need a trolley. Oh God, 
I'm going to need my hands now, guys. So, I'm going to have to pick it up myself and carry it. Oh, my days. Oh, I've got to carry it myself. No, 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 no. This one's done no. They haven't got backing. It has to have yeah. backing. Because I noticed they move around. Yeah. Right, guys. Our hands are full. Our hands are full. Uh, I think we learned a lesson today. Don't think you're coming in here just to have a look. Because inevitably, you're going to see something you like. This is the fake foliage section. If you want some fake stuff that you don't have to mess around pruning or anything. Looks quite real. We've got some fake stuff and it looks really nice and it saves a lot of messing around. Yeah, when you go somewhere always take a trolley just in case because you're bound to see something. And that's what happened here. So now our hands are full. Isn't it, Mark? Turn around, your hands are full. <laughs> and here, my hands are full. I've just got one hand available for the camera to show you guys. Obviously, what I'm videoing. Yeah, do another look. This is the re shop and reuse. I've got a few bargains in here before. This is where IKEA put all their X display stuff and uh, uh, furniture and items that might not be a hundred percent. I've got nice settings and things. If you want, you have to check it though. Make sure that the quality is not too bad. Right, it's not damaged a lot and uh, it's still worthy of putting in your house. So, uh, oh, I like this. Mm. That's a bit big, because it's just to go from my bed to the uh, window so i don't want it to be too large to the depth the width is fine because we've got space for the width it's the depth it's a bit too deep and that's the problem so, like that. all right guys so So much, so good. So cool. Hmm. Got a nice chair here. Yeah. 245. That's been reduced from 350. So not too bad if you want some crockery plates. If you see anything that's not chipped. Here, if you want to get something that's, that's not chipped or anything. All right, that's it, guys. That's the reuse shop here at IKEA, Northwest London. What's you got? Right, this is the Christmas stuff, all gearing up for the Christmas. Everybody's getting ready. Oh, oh, there she is. Right, yeah, this is all the Christmas stuff. If you want to get all your Christmas gear ready. I think we've got everything. Over the years, we've accumulated so much Christmas stuff. Yeah, it's here, yeah. Right, this is us at the till now, guys. Uh...
gonna do a self serve this job. Okay, guys, we're just waiting in the queue, so until next time.